Sarnath, one of the most venerated Buddhist destinations, located 13 kilometers northeast of Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh state of India. Sarnath is considered as one of the four prime destinations for Buddhist pilgrimage in India. Mulaganda Kuti Vihar is the modern temple, magnificent with detailed designed patterns in its interiors has been erected by the Mahabodhi Society. The temple was made by Kose Tsunosu, Japan's foremost painter and a rich repository of Buddhist literature and is well known for its magnificent murals and frescoes. This Buddhist temple is relatively new and therefore offers a sharp contrast to the ruins of Sarana. This temple also stands out with its distinct architecture which is nowhere near the style followed by Buddhist architecture. The most striking aspect of this temple is the beautiful life-size golden image of the Buddha that greets you as you enter the sanctum. A huge bell dominates the entrance of the Vihar. The royal scions of Japan have gifted this mammoth bronze bell. We can also see the Bodhi tree whose sampling was brought from a tree in Sri Lanka. This Bodhi tree in turn originated from the original tree under which Buddha sat in Bodh Gaya and gained enlightenment 2500 years ago. Mahendra and Sangamitra, son and daughter of Ashoka the Great respectively, took the sapling from this original tree to Sri Lanka during their mission. After enlightenment in Bodhagaya, the Buddha went to Saranath seeking his five former companions. Lord Buddha had delivered his first sermon to his five disciples after attaining enlightenment for redeeming humanity. He found his companions as they also became enlightened. This event is referred to as the turning of the wheel of the Dharma and also marks the founding of the Sangha or the community of monks. The Dhamek Stupa, which was earlier known as the Dharma Chakra Stupa, marks the spot where Buddha gave his first sermon on the full moon day of Aslaha Puja. This Stupa was built in 500 BC to replace an earlier structure commissioned by the great Mauryan king Ashoka. It is the biggest stupa in Saranath and also the oldest known stupa. This is the most attractive structure at Saranath. Colonel Cunningham bore a shaft from the top center of the stupa and discovered a stone tablet on which an inscription is written with the word Ye Dharma Hetu Prabhav Hetu written in Brahmi script of 6th 7th century AD and mentions that this is the spot where the Buddha delivered his first sermon. It has been enlarged on six occasions. Today, the stupa is 43.6 meters high with a diameter of 28 meters. While the upper part is made of bricks, the entire lower part of the stupa is solid mass of stone. The front stone of the stupa is covered with beautiful floral designs of Gupta period and the wall has figures of birds, humans, leaves, swastika and some inscriptions in Brahmi script. 
Dhamega seems to be a distorted form of Dharma Chakra, which means turning the wheel of the Dharma. It is also said that at this spot, the five ascetics who left Gautam Buddha in Bodh Gaya used to live in huts. The lower portion of the stupa is covered completely with beautifully carved stones. The Dhamek Stupa is considered to be the sacred place where the voice of Buddhism was first heard. Many dignitaries of Buddhist countries visit this place for circumambulation of the sacred Stupa and to worship the Buddha. This Stupa was rebuilt a number of times. The geometric and floral patterns on the Stupa belong to the later Gupta period. The entire area is dotted with huge trees and it's pleasure to simply lie down under the shade of one of the trees and wonder about the lives of the men who lived here. All of the ancient buildings and structures at Saranath were damaged or destroyed by the Turks. The decaying ruins of the Moolagandhi Kuti Vihara mark the place where the Buddha spent his first rainy season in meditation. The main heritage site at Saranath houses the monasteries and the famous Dhamek Stupa and the Ashoka Pillar which was originally surmounted by the lion capital of Ashoka, the national emblem of India. This pillar was erected by the emperor Ashoka. The pillar had his edict engraved on it. The lion symbolizes both Ashoka's imperial rule and the kingship of the Buddha. The four lion capital was adopted as the emblem of the modern Indian Republic. Inside the premises of Thai Buddha Vihar of Saranath, we can see India's tallest standing 80 feet statue of Lord Buddha just a few meters from Dhamek Stupa. It took 14 years to construct this statue. The historical and ascetic value of this place is a boon to the entire nation and the world at large.